Welcome to another of Creative Block's Two Minute Tool Schools. Today we're going to be looking at Photoshop and specifically the Magic Wand tool. Now the Magic Wand tool is a selection tool and you'll find it in the tools panel over here alongside the quick selection tool. And it works by seeking out and snapping on to similarly toned pixels within an image. Up here in the options bar at the top of the screen we have several useful settings, the most important of which is tolerance. And this allows you to control how picky the tool is when finding similar tones. So if we have a small tolerance of around four, and for example, let's just click over the blue sky here, you can see how we select quite a small range of tones. And I'm just going to hit Command or Control and D to deselect. That's Command and D on a Mac, Control and D on a PC. Now, if I up the tolerance to a higher value of around about 60, then if I click again over the same spot you can see how we've picked up much more blue tones because we've made the tool less picky when finding those tones. Now if I just deselect that again and I'll show you the second most useful option up here which is contiguous and this allows you to confine the selection to a specific area so if I have that checked and let's say I click on the clouds down here you can see how we've only selected that quite narrow area which is cut off by these two trees. Now if I uncheck contiguous and then click over the same area again, you can see how the tool will now seek out those white tones across the entire image. And the point section up here allows you to change the area of the sample point so you can choose these different averages. Now, as with any selection tool, we can hold shift and then click to add to the selected area. So I have the clouds currently selected. If I hold shift and click on the blue sky, we can add those blues into the selection and very quickly get an accurate selection of the background. And if I choose, I can refine my selection further using the refine edge command, or I could perhaps add an adjustment layer. Let's choose curves and use the curves adjustment to darken down that sky for something more intense like that. So there we go, that's how you can quickly make selections of complex shapes like our palm trees here with ease using the magic wand tool.